Hi, and welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy. Bandit's on my lap. You can kind of see his head poking up a little bit. And I have some BoxyCharm today. So I decided to do like a BoxyCharm, open it up, see what we got, try some stuff on. Um, so all I have on is lotion. I don't even have primer on yet. So we will do that all together. So <clears throat> if you're new, welcome. Thanks so much for checking us out. And if you're returning, thanks so much for being a part of our YouTube family. BoxyCharm is a monthly beauty box. Um, it is a subscription. They have their base box, their premium box, and then um, seasonally they have a luxe box. We just got one in December, so um, the next one I think is in March. You do get to choose one for your base box and two for your premium. So we do have a, a base and a premium. I don't always remember what I chose, but I'm pretty sure... I chose a palette so I thought there would be you know a pretty fair bet that um, there's some makeup in here all right so I'm gonna start I also have some add-ons here too all right so we're gonna start with the smaller box I have seen a few people open up their smaller box it was their base box it does look like it's red inside which is the base color you open it up and it says hello charmer and then inside it just says boxy charm that's how you know it is their base oh I do see that that's really cute I did get that from Faye so um I don't know what I'm going to do with those because <clears throat> you could I could always use makeup sponges all right so there is a little card first of all it has a theme okay so the theme is refresh and then all of your product information is on the back. Okay, so yes, this is the palette I chose. It is the Wander Beauty Wand Dress Escape. And it looks like it's got some neutrals, but then some nice little pops of color, which was why I picked it. I feel like <clears throat> neutral palettes are, I don't know, the new in thing. Um, because I've noticed that like the Glam Bag X had two very neutral palettes with no like real pops of color in them at all. There was a Juvia Place and the other one might have been by Item Beauty. Um, and then there were a couple of other um, subscriptions where I saw they were doing a lot of the neutrals. Okay, so here is what the box looks like. I don't mind neutrals as long as there is a little pop of color. All right, there is a mirror. Here are those colors. And there's a nice blue, and then there's like a, a purpley one that's kind of like the purple of the box there. Almost like a nice kind of um, sunset color. I'm not going to swatch these because we're going to put those on in a few moments. So I'm going to put that aside. That is um, valued at $42. I have used the Wander Beauty um, palettes before. They do tend to be quite nice, um, have some good payoff, good color. Next is the Dermalect um, Revitalite Eyelid and Dark Circle Corrector. So I had seen a lot of people get this and I was interested to try it. So we're going to be trying that out today. There is oops, how that looks. I have no nail polish on. I'm trying to um, kind of strengthen them before I put anything on again. And this is valued at $59. Next is the Anastasia Beverly Hill Dip Brow Pomade. And there is a brush. Now, <clears throat> I'd also seen a lot of people get this and it seems like there was like one color. So I don't know if this is supposed to be a universal color. I'll have to look that up because that does look dark for me. Um, maybe if I do it with a gentle hand because we want to give as much in here a try as we can and that set is valued at $39 <clears throat> next we have the context skin um, matte lipstick and This is in the color Tears Are Falling. I did see this opened. I feel like this was also not a shade I would necessarily wear. 
yeah. All right, uh, that is valued at $20. And then the last thing is the M2U NYC Makeup Blending Sponge Set. And this is valued at $20 as well. And it has just all different kinds of shapes of um, sponges, but it's just in that super cute packaging. That is the base box. There is a... Um, number down below that tells you which variation you received. Okay, box number two is the premium box. Now, I don't recall what my choice was in this. There were two choice items. And one thing, um, I think everybody gets like the same choice choices in BoxyCharm, I believe, whereas in Ipsy, it's different. So what I get as a choice and what you get as a choice could be very different things. So you open it up. It does tell you it's premium. It does have the card inside. Oops, there is a little sneak peek. Let's see what we got. All right, so the Wishful Clean Genie Cleansing Butter. Um, <clears throat> this, I believe, was my choice item. I remember this was a choice. Um, it's kind of funny because in Instagram, before I was able to make my choice, there was like, which of these would you prefer to see in your box? And I was like, oh, I think I'd like to see that because I have a bunch of other products from this company and I'd like to try to use them all together and give them a review as kind of a, a line. And then somebody said, a few days later after choice um well if you want it you can choose it well, okay but i didn't know that when they made the first posting so i don't know that just kind of irked me a little bit like, all right and here is how this looks the packaging is so pretty i really like the prismatic one of my only things with this line is that it can be um overly scented like strongly scented all right, so it's this nice green. I mean, I, I can, oh, wait a minute. No, I wasn't smelling that. It must be smelling something else, but I don't really smell anything on this. So I'm really happy about that. It is a real pretty green, just like the outside. And this is valued at $35. Okay, by Persona Cosmetic, we have a lip liner and it looks like it is in this same color that matches the context um, lipstick so I'm not going to take that out because again I do know that that's not necessarily a great color on me I will look up for um, <clears throat> swatching information um, and give you like some swatches and if they do look like things that I would wear I will I will try them on so I'll try to like pause this and go check that out after the color doesn't have a name it just says 90210 Beverly Hills it does say that it's a creamy, blendable lip liner. It's formulated with jojoba oil and hydrogenated cottonseed oil for an effortless glide-on application. And it is valued at $14. By LYS Beauty is the Secure Sin Skin Gripping Primer. And I do have a blush from them that I, not blush, um, bronzer that I really like. It's got a interesting shape. Just maybe all of their products are shaped like this because their, their bronzer is shaped like that. This is valued at $20. So we will use this for the primer today. All right, this I think was my second choice item. And this is the Kosas Brow in the blonde color. So I think this is the brow product I will use. All right, so there is how that looks. There is the little brow uh, brush. And I had gotten a, um, a sample package from Kosas, so I did know this was a good color for me when I saw it as a choice. It's valued at $22, and it does say that it is volumizing. A air brow tinted volumizing treatment gel. Juice Beauty is the Bamboo Pore Refining Mask. It 
there is how that looks. That is valued at $36. Oops, we've got it upside down. $36. I do like the Juice Beauty line. And the last thing in here is from Aether Beauty. And I believe they said all premium boxes were going to come with this. Yeah, this is another one of those kind of neutral palettes with some pops of color. Oops. So here is the packaging. And... There is no mirror with these, um, but these are recyclable. So some nice pops of color in there though. And then they put these cute little cards in there. And on the back it says, shed what doesn't serve you as the rose unravels its layers to reveal the heart center of profound beauty. So just cute little cards. And then I have some add-ons. So these probably all came at different times, but because I've been home sick, I haven't really um, been, so everything you've seen has been kind of content that I'd already filmed before I got sick. And I just haven't been up and about. Right. So there, and these are the only things I purchased from the drop shop. I didn't purchase anything else. So by Moxie Lash, we have the all-in-one makeup remover. So this is supposed to help remove um, when you're using the magnetic lenses to help really get that off because I do struggle to get all of the liner off. It typically takes quite a bit. So I thought I would give this a try. By Graceful Bubbles is the Berry Fizz Handmade Soap. And this was like three or $5. So I got two. I got one for my house and one to share. By Fenty Beauty. This was another choice item and I added it on because I had wanted to try it. This is the um, Diamond Balm All Over Diamond Veil in How Many Carrots and beautiful, beautiful packaging. And this, not this particular color, but oh, it's even sparkly on the inside. Um, but this product in a different shade is going to be a choice item for FabFitFun later on this week. Well, by the time I'm posting this up, it might be right around the same time. Okay, there is a mirror, but here is how that looks. So we're going to use that today. And I got two palettes. These were, I think, $5. These are the exact same. So it's one for me and one to share. And this is 80s Baby by Pinky Rose. And I couldn't, um, I could not pick this up only because, <clears throat> well, I'm not an 80s baby, but my high school years were in the 80s. So I said, oh, I gotta, I gotta have that in my collection. And it had all these beautiful purples and some nice contrasting colors. Like I said, one for me and one for one of you. So we're gonna start with the with the Dermalect um, under eye. And this does say to apply it all over the eyelid, under eye, brow bone, and side area. And that is the type applicator. I have one like this Red Juice Beauty and you push it down. But this one you're just gonna So there is how that looks. So it's just kind of a an off white. So we've got that on, all nicely rubbed in. It feels very nice going on. It's very creamy. Next, we're going to use the primer. Oh, this is clear and it's kind of watery, so I don't want to kind of hold it up like that. So you'll just have to take my word for it. It has a light, almost kind of marshmallowy smell. Like it reminds me of the NYX um, marshmallow primer that I got from uh, I think Trend Mood, it was in. 
it's very light it's not um I think this is maybe like one of those glass ones because it does remind me of the yeah of the glass primer Let's see if I can, by Rodeo all right and I grabbed the Elena Badro um beauty sponges that I got in last month's BoxyCharm and it was a set of two different shapes by Dragon Beauty. I have this green, which is supposed to help with redness. So I'm going to. I'm going to wet the flat end with a little bit of the Dewy Set by Anastasia Beverly Hill. And then I'm just going to kind of blend it in. All right, so I go, went ahead and got that pretty well blended in. And then I use this purple for Under the Eyes, also by Dragon Beauty. And then I take the tip there and blend that in. All right, so I have that all blended in. Next, I had gotten this previously from, I think it was um, BoxyCharm. This is the Tristique um, concealer, um, foundation. It does have a little brush on the bottom, but I don't really use the makeup sponges for foundation. I typically use a makeup brush, and I thought, you know, it would be interesting to show you guys how this goes on. It goes on so nice and easy, very smooth, very creamy. It is also refillable. I just take one of these um, flat foundation brushes from LaRousse and I just go ahead and buff them. All right, so most of that redness is hidden as well as I got all the greenness covered up from what I used to kind of take care of that. For contouring, oh, the shade on that foundation, does it say? Paradise Island Beige. And this is the contour cheek stick in Brazilian bronze. All right, so there is how that looks. And this has a brush on the other end that I will be using. I've got all of my contour in. And I'm going to move on to the bronzer. I'm going to use this LYS in no, no Limits Matte Bronzer in Harmony, which is a medium. And there is how that looks. I did get this from BoxyCharm as well. And then the brush is by Yensa and it is the Silk Bronzer Brush. For cheeks, I'm gonna use the NARS in Orgasm. I think I saw a few people get this this month, so I thought it would be good. It's broken a little bit, the edge, but it is very, very well used. And I'm gonna use this brush by Hip Dot. There's how the brush looks. And one of the things with having rosacea is you have to be careful 
about what shades you use as blush because you do all that work to kind of cover the red and then you don't want to put too much red back in. On to the How Many Carrots Highlighter by Fenty Beauty. So I'm going to take this brush here. And what I do is I kind of go back and forth on here and then I just do a back and forth motion. And I don't like to put too much highlighter like on my nose or my forehead, just enough to kind of like give it a little bit of a glitter. And I really like that it doesn't set into the, um, the lines like some do. So I would definitely recommend this. Um, like I said, the color is a little bit different for the FabFitFun, but it is still, I believe, a light color, light enough that um, you may enjoy it. I like it because not only is it light, but it doesn't, um, you know, most of my lines are right in here and it doesn't just sink into them. All right, on to brows. So as you can see, I have very sparse brows. So what I'm going to do is the first thing I do is I brush them down. With a spoolie and we're going to try this out and let's hope it works. But if not, I have some family members who it would work for. So I'm not going to use the brush it came with only because in case it doesn't work for me. Um, I don't want to um, ruin the brush. Ooh, now see that is kind of dark. Let's see if we can just kind of lightly go in. Now, as you guys can see, that is way, way, way too dark for me. So, but... but what I'm going to do on the other one is just try this. And... All right. So I definitely do like this much better than this. This is a bit much for me, but since we've already done it on one side, just add a little bit over here. I do think I would like this product if it were um, a better shade match for me. And I do tell them that my eyebrow shade is blonde, so I'm not sure why that would be the shade that they would pick for me, but it's not the first time. It probably won't be the last, but I do like the Kosas very much. They do have a clear too, which is nice, so if you don't like a little bit of color, I like this because this is just enough to kind of do them and go, because um, usually I do use the Benefit one, and I typically use just this side, although it does have this side as well. I don't typically use that side so much. Um, just to kind of pencil in just a little bit extra. Um, but I would like this product. I would definitely, if I had it in a better shade. All right, next we're going to move on to the eyes. I am, even though I got two palettes, obviously, I don't want to end up looking like a clown by using way too many, but I will try to use a little bit from each um, because they do have some very similar shades. So as you can see, there are some little bit of similarities in there in some of the shades. So I am going to start with the outer area. I'm going to start with this one, which is a little dark, but we're going to play with it a little bit. 
So there is how that looks. And that's just a very light, but that's kind of how I want it to start off with. You can always build, but if you put too much on, All right, and I am the kind of person that has to do one side and the other like together. Otherwise I might lose track of what I did. All right, so we're starting there. Then we're taking this blending brush and I'm just gonna buff that in. And next, I'm going to take this purpley one right here, this kind of angled brush. And just kind of do some fill-in work right there. I'm just taking that darker brown and just going right into the corner here. And then I'm going to buff that out. All right, and now I'm going to take this color called Sea Glass. And I'm going to take a little brush like this. That. And here is a swatch of that purpley one that I used. So very light. Sometimes I find you get a lot more payoff if you just kind of dab it in. And I am going to go back in and um, buff that out. I need enough pigment to buff. All right, so I'm just gonna buffing that out. And then I am going to take this moonlight color right there and just go on the brow bone. And then I'm gonna take this little brush here, which is also like an eyebrow brush, but I like these for under eye. And then I'm just going to get under the eye here. And then I'm going to take the purpley shade and get the inner corner. Go. Now this does have some other lovely shades. It has um, it has a pink and a gold. So there is the pink. There is this kind of bright pink one, which I would play around with. And this one also has some real lovely, like this kind of purpley one right here. there that is right there the next thing I'm going to do is take this babe lash which is an eyelash serum and I'm just going to kind of go over my eyes here and while that's drying up I'm going to use this persona cosmetics eyeliner that we got last month and this is in a black even though that's brown Very creamy. This is waterproof.
All right. Very creamy for a pencil. Goes on very nice. Now I'm going to use this Thrive Cosmetics liner. Um, not liner. Mascara. And it has this very thin kind of brush. Now this really coats. And when I tell you it really coats, when you wash it off, you're going to have like gunk on your hands. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but All right, so there is the difference. So I am a huge fan of this. <clears throat> I did get this on an Ipsy sale. I think it's maybe $24 regularly. Then I'm gonna take this Tarte um, Shape Tape which did have a little sponge, but I lost it. And I took it out, washed it, set it somewhere to dry, and I think it probably fell off. The, um... counter. That's alright, because I use this anyway. I love this little under eye concealer brush. All right, and last is the lip color. All right, so I did look it up. This does look like it's more of a nude, so not as dark as it says. So we will see. <clears throat> Very lovely. All right, so we're gonna try it out and we'll be brave and we will try the liner and if it doesn't work on me, maybe it'll work on the kid. Okay. <clears throat> and there is that color. There they are together. And I don't mind a nude. It's the darker chocolates that are problematic for me. All right, so we got the liner on. It is creamy. All right, here goes nothing. I think it definitely needs a gloss, so I'm going to grab one. And this is by lucky chick and it's just like a clear pinky kind of shimmer all right so with a clear still a little darker than i might like it we're going to try this Marc Jacobs one, which is in the same color line, but might add a little bit more pink to it. I cannot read the name on there, but <clears throat> it's a very nice kind of prismatic gloss. And it is, it's... Oh, that was one I was going to try, but it's this one right here. All 
All right, well, I'm not a fan of the overall look. I'd have to play with it, maybe mix it with a pinker shade using a lip brush or something. But there we are with the overall look using a lot of the things that I got in this month's BoxyCharm. So let me know what you think. Again, I think maybe kind of the dark color with the nudes maybe is a little too much. I feel like I need a little bit more pop of color. I did put some blue in there, so there is that um, little pop there. But I feel like, I don't know, maybe someone else who needs to just be like a little bit more of a pop of color. Plus, the eyebrows are just too dark for me. All right. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with us. And please consider hitting the like, subscribe, and the notification bell. And hopefully, we'll see you soon.